Hi, everyone. Thanks for taking a moment to talk with us. I'm April Lawson. I'm a conservative in Washington, D.C. And I'm Sage Snyder, a liberal in Nashville. We are both members of Better Angels, which is America's largest bipartisan grassroots group devoted to political depolarization, and we're bringing you a major announcement. We might all be stuck at home, but there's still a lot we can do. Sure, being at home makes it even harder to have constructive conversations with those who disagree with us. And with this coronavirus crisis and the 2020 election, the stakes could not be higher. So that brings us to our announcement. Better Angels has decided that to meet the challenges of this national moment, we need to strengthen our call. That's why Better Angels is becoming Braver Angels. If we are going to unite Americans through this pandemic and election, it's not enough to call on our Better Angels. We must call on our Braver Angels. Braver Angels still harkens back to Abraham Lincoln's call for our Better Angels, but it adds the important reminder that answering this call takes courage. Lincoln called for better angels at the start of the Civil War, but his call was not answered. We must therefore express our call with greater urgency. We will not surely be touched by our better angels. If the higher parts of our nature are to have any real power, we need to show courage in using them. We must overcome the parts of ourselves that tell us the other side is evil and stupid and that we'd be better off without them. We must stand up against our own side when it spreads lies and incites hate. In everything we do, we must not only touch, but transform our national culture, bravely pursuing Lincoln's enduring goal that our better angels will yet swell the chorus of the Union. In this challenging time, achieving these goals will require that we listen first. So we hope all of you will join us by calling on our braver angels. In this land of the free, and home of the brave.